All right. I want you to picture yourself running on a soccer field. <laughs> okay. I'm running. All right. And I'm you dying trip because I don't do cardio. Okay, continue. All right, your your pants rip specifically where your anal cavity is. Okay, and then <laughs> David is behind you, and he's in one of those bubbles. You know the ones that the kids get in and they roll around, they hit each other, but they don't feel any pain because they're in this bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that bubble goes inside of you. All right. <laughs> Technically, you are not having intercourse with David, but he he can feel what you're. <laughs> 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 okay, so, okay, it's not all sexual, okay? So, yep, that's my cool. You made that way worse. Than, like, <laughs> but did he understand it though? That point. Yep. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> like that. Oh god, that that image was terrible. <laughs> yeah. And welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 6 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we're we discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stratton. Hi, Nick. Next up, we have Ku. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Welcome. <laughs> Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Sasha. Nicolas y Johan! Get by the ways! Hey! I don't think we have you on. Yet. That's all right. All right. Yet. Not yet. So, uh, we have a couple of, uh, well, not a couple more, and a couple of, like, anime news. I'm just going to go through real quick. So, just wanted to reconfirm that uh, Snafu and Sword Art just got reconfirmed for July 2020 because they were delayed from this season. I assume, I assume like, they should be, like, if they got announced it as news, I assume it should be done. So, I expect them to air in July. And then... Um, we also got announced. Um, so uh, June Maeda's new anime. He's the like the writer be- behind like Planet and Angels Beat. Um, he announced his new his new show on um, the day I became God. So I'm re- I'm personally excited for that. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that one. I'll and- check it out. <laughs> I've heard you're the one person that's excited about it. Sorry, sir. Yes, <laughs> just me. Maybe Peter too. So. Probably. Okay, too. And then um, we also you're just got it. some just some news about like Shonen Jump saying like just series might get delayed it probably will be just assume it's delayed and then we also got like some confirmation from from the one piece author oda he's basically saying like uh his basically his like his setup is many analogs so even though like he like it's just it, they could work from home like i think like they had a, they basically had it where everyone had to like like share workspace together so I, I think he was just saying that like yeah the upcoming chapters are gonna be delayed so keep an eye on that and then um <laughs> and then also just um apparently some randomly we just got like a uh, inuyasha spinoff so i call it Yash- yashahime princess half demon so that was really weird that was, really, that was a really, really weird name. i never heard any about inuyasha for like the past like 20 years i don't know why it's announced now so i mean from what i've heard of inuyasha fans like they hated it so it's just like it makes sense but spin- make another but spin-off. spin-off oh yeah uh, people didn't like the original Oh, and I have no idea about the oh, spinoff. I was oh, talking about like, the original. Like the original? Oh. I thought it was a oh. fan. I thought it was, you know, cl- classic. Uh, they they like, pretty good. But for how it ended, though, I know there was a lot of issues with how it ended. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that um, octopus then they, who, like, hugs people too much, that was just weird. I don't know why they would add that, that in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's where they came up with that term. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then Johan, um, Sasha's cut off of One Piece, so... And yes, oh, yeah. in chat by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, that was a very random comment to make. <laughs> yes, I'm talking <laughs> right. to an invisible person. That's tough. Yes, to David, that schizophrenia is kicking in, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> gotta talk about that. <laughs> so, that's just quick uh, news roundup, and then we're gonna go jump right into Tower of God. Um, so this week's episode, uh, we like, uh, we had you know, bomb recover from like basically what happened last episode and then kind of showing more Rachel and just how like she just uh, so that is Rachel like that is the actual Rachel but she doesn't want um, Bomb to know that's her 
and then and also like um Kun, he also like doesn't trust her so he's also like he's also up for like you know like lying to to bomb and telling and telling him that like it wasn't her either and then well yeah because he has trust issues in general because yeah. that because because the, oh, his, his sister the ptsd yeah he's your typical vegeta salty guy that can't get over shit so He's just like, ah, man, you know, don't do that. It's bad. Me, me, me. He's he's the ultimate beta guy. So basically, <laughs> like, what's his face? Uh, Bon me. He's gonna turn into the alpha by the end of the show, by all indications. And this guy's gonna be stuck in beta, and then he's gonna have to look up to him to be like, wow, man, you should really trust people. That's so. Whereas my boy Rock, you're gonna be tearing up some assholes with the spear, baby. Woo woo. <laughs> I really have no idea, like where Rock's like whole like uh, character is gonna go. Besides, just like you know, actually liking his teammates. Besides that, or past that, I have no clue what to do. I mean, I think it's all the simple route, just like he just they just kept you there for the hunt. But like, yeah, he's a simple guy. I think I can yeah, see that. I think he's gonna be he'll, he'll back route. up on. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then stab him in the heart, like I said. <laughs> if if I had to put my finger on who Rock reminds me of, he reminds me of the old Spice commercials with the random guys and their towels. <laughs> Like that's him right there. I could see him on an old spice commercial in Japan, of course. Terry Terry Crews is the first guy. Well, uh Terry or, Crews, definitely or, Terry or Crews. Or Korea, yeah. so. Mm-hmm. But definitely Korea, yeah. And um also I just wanna to mention too the how like uh this episode like Rachel too, like, even though she told she told like Kun to like not tell her that she's there, like she she's obviously like like very like alone or like emotionally unstable just because uh, for some reason i guess she's like feeling like that bomb is like is like i don't know like she's he's getting away from her or like or he's like he like doesn't have a need for her even though she's the one that pushes him away so that, that part like was really weird to me like i don't know I'm you. i think it's mainly because you know how she mentioned that like will be a weakness for each other and then uh kun made that uh that remark saying, is it really like, is he really a weakness to you or is it vice versa? And I think she really wants to be with him, but if, if she were to stay with him, I don't think uh, she would be able to like fully let out her power. So maybe that's why she doesn't want to be with him. We haven't, have we, hmm. we haven't even seen her power though, but like, yeah. It's to cry repeatedly in her room until chocolate. Bon hugs her. Yes. Does she even? Do we even know if she has like a power? I, so so, far I she's assume she's like. Nothing. I assume she's hidden OP just because like in like the group that she was in, like it's not just like um like the other chicken Dorsey. I don't think it's just her and the big guy, like like getting all the kills. I think she's also contributing. So I think yeah, I mean, I that's, 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 that's not what they're showing. Telling you, man, she created Bond or something along that line. Like she fell out of the society. She's definitely a princess. Like now we found out princesses can be anybody. They're pretty much just like child labor people that these guys hire, and they're like, ah, oh, you must represent my family. Well, I mean, let's be honest. That's what we've um, seen so far. Yeah, that's Person. why Lizard Girl's yeah. so mad. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just want. But my- yeah, Rachel no. definitely got some PTSD going on. We gotta get her some. I, know. I just like. Help. I just I did not like the turn and like her character in this episode. Just like. It just yeah, but that's your typical anime. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. When I say I like Claire from Gleipnir, it's because Claire's the opposite of that. She'll have her emotional moment, but then she'll be like, "Let's go do this shit. I'm about yeah. to cut some people up." Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, oh, "You, you can be my weakness." I be, be yeah, Sakura, just, it just yeah. sounds like just unnecessary drama. Just, just dude, K dramas, man. K dramas. So, that's a then, side of frustration and uh, an understanding. Uh, I got you. But um, the other part too is that. Uh, is um well actually before we get to a next thing like i just want to mention too like they reveal more about like the teams and like the positions so so i mentioned um we have the five positions we have fisherman which is like like it's supposed to be like the initiator but actually people like on reddit like describe this more as like league of legends position sort of Cause he's, what like because right. okay. fisherman, I'm fisherman I'm is like, like the what well really? someone, someone on reddit <laughs> describe it like because fish so Fishman is like the initiator, so he's it's like more. Of, so I mean, no, I know it's also melee, but it's like it's like the, the the like the tank bruiser initiator, and then spear bearer is like it's the range attack, so more like ADC, and then um like Continue. yeah, light bearer. I I don't remember which which, which lane this was, but like light bearer is like. Yeah. Gotta be mid. 
Because be, well, it's I don't know. Some, clear. See, that's that's why clear. using league terms like how I did it was just took like basic MMO logic. Was like fisherman is uh, like a warrior. Yeah. Your spear bear is like a ranged attacker. Your light bear is like I don't know a fucking uh, a mage of some sort, Ma- like a support mage. Support a scout mage. is like your rogue, and yeah. then wave controller is like your casters. That's Cast- how I caster mage. Yeah. So. Okay. But I do. I don't know how. Uh... How is it? With, how Rock is like a, a spear cast? I, I legit thought he was gonna be a, like frontline tank. I think, dude, well, a spear, bro. He's bro. the well, yeah, I know, but still, bro. come on, man. <laughs> I he think, has the spear, but he's also built like a tank. Yeah, I think he's mainly meant Best for like for parts, like yeah, that's for the melee. Bro. So that's really no, weird. no, the real tank is that testicle looking thing from <laughs> two episodes ago. <laughs> that thing could take any attack. I don't know, dude. Mine, uh, mine definitely can't take any, any attack. Oh, and then, um, and also laughs, laughs, laughs. No, and also <laughs> um, bomb. We know we know he's a wave controller because he uses he uses the, the Shinsu, but then like he had to make the contract with the snake looking thing, which I just assume was like Orochi Mario or something. But was it a snake oh, or, was it like a I'm, I'm, or a turtle? Did I swear like oh. it was a turtle? Was it a turtle? I, th- I uh, thought it was a snake. That was my bad. Hey, man, Brian, can we get a screenshot of that? What? Can you get a screenshot of that? Because I don't yeah, remember. I'm, I'm looking. I thought it was a snake. Or, maybe it was a turtle. Because someone in Riot Thread also mentioned too how like like the the theme of the tower is supposed to be like yeah, ocean related. So that's why there's so much of the. Your what? Like I thought it was like lizard or eel. I thought maybe. I thought turtle. it was a snake. Wait, wait. So what did you say, David? You're what related? So like the the tower, like a lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of the things about the tower, like the metaphors, are supposed to be related to the ocean. So oh, okay, okay. that's why like we have like the fishermen as like. A, a position because it's supposed to be related to the ocean and like in like the wave that's, that's why the energy thing is called waves because yeah it's supposed to be like related to the ocean uh, well that's what people oh. on the red thread said like we didn't see this in the show so it's like, oh man yeah, that was legit, like a sea turtle come on i don't know what the fuck i don't know what that that looks like an aging I don't go sea fishing turtle enough, man <laughs> and he's just clean his pores i'm gonna stick with sea turtle um yeah. the the what the dude from dbz man I forgot his name. Ka- Piercing blue eyes, uh, though. Hello? Oh, what? Hello? Hello. Oh, uh, what? Everybody heard. Hi, guys. Who? Uh, did, did I DC? Uh, or, okay. That's cool. Never mind. Okay. So, Sea so Turtle. Yeah. Sea Turtle? So, I'll go with you, Sredden, because I really have no idea what the hell that is. That That's just... Th- that was just the first thing that popped in my head. Um, I... I, I just don't see it as anything else, really. Like I just keep thinking sea turtle. Yeah, we barely yep, saw it's sea it, turtle. So. <laughs> After that image, <laughs> I don't know what the real life. I'll tell you guys what. If I'm sitting here and I'm the studio and I'm trying to save money, be on a budget, all I would do is when when he calls what what do they call the ball thing that he pulls out? Literally the sea turtle. Like what's the term for them? Uh, I forgot. It's like, like I want to say I want to say pocket, pocket, but I think it's. I don't know if that's oh, right. Oh, I think Pretty you're right. Sure it might be. Pocket. Yeah. So when he pulls out his quote unquote pocket, they should have just spliced in footage from Naruto when he talks to the Ninetales fox behind the cage. <laughs> and be like, oh, yeah, I'm your buddy. You got to make this contract. And then just cut out and be like, oh, yeah, guys, sorry. COVID 19. Contract they restrictions. Like yeah, it was like uh, it was like bomb that but like um, didn't even like get the choice for the contract. He basically like, oh, you want to start a contract and just like nearly killed the guy. Well, he said like, this isn't a contract, this is a shackle. So, oh right, right, yeah. Those even, are pretty good, pretty better. good words. Yes. I'd you just, just see that turtle like sneak up in his bed. <laughs> hey there, boy! <laughs> I told you this is gonna be a shackle. <laughs> Rachel's like, I wonder how Bod's doing. She just hears like his muffled voice <laughs> and screams in the next door, like, "Bod, are you okay?" <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so you guys are in trouble. Right, that, that's messed up. <laughs> All right, so, that's okay. Or let me hint it. So that's all I want to mention for just <laughs> that part. Um, because the big the big reveal was at the end where um, where we found out that uh Anak um, so that's actually like her daughter. She just took the name of her mom, and it turns out that her what was it like the prince? I think I, I Wait, found the what? explanation. It's like like her mom died because of the princesses somehow. Like so, pretty much her mom was killed by one of the other princesses and then so she's just like the typical revenge story it's like i'm gonna kill all the princesses because okay. one of y'all killed my mom okay so, Sounds so i mean that okay that explains why like she like 
which why um and Dorsey, why she calls like her like an imposter like is there any reason why like like the like an ox daughter why she calls calls and Dorsey an imposter or she's just mad just because like she's just a princess of jihad um Wait, why is she mad what they keep I calling each other she... imposter so like i understand why Probably... she, she calls like an ox the imposter but i don't know why like even Dorsey why she's been called she an imposter just, she might just be saying it back because that's what they she's been calling Oct at the whole time yeah so Otherwise, I was maybe, just she was maybe mad there's or something anything. else to that too like maybe like she wasn't deserving of the the princess title so maybe she was just calling her an imposter as well but i think that's that's just it she's just calling her back an imposter i'd say it's probably the fact that none of them seem to be blood related to the quote-unquote royal family whatever is at the top but all the princesses, like I said, they're just like child slaves that are chosen randomly. Like, oh, you're going to represent this tribe. So I'd say both of them have no direct relation to the people on the top. But that one girl, the black haired girl, Yuri. Um, Yuri. Uh, I don't know her name. Thank you. I think she might have something to do with the actual family themselves. Speaking of which, and, and Dorsey, what's her name? Yeah, and, and Dorsey. I endorse her because... <laughs> I'm a fan of her eye makeup, man. She does some pretty good stuff right there. I'm like, you're orange? You don't see that a lot. So kudos to her. Orange power. Naruto for life. Looking like sage mode, baby. <laughs> is, that, is that the girl with the little horn? No, no. Horn. Little horn girl. You can't trust her, man. Hey, by the way, that's not a girl. Hmm. And Dorsey's not a girl? The the horn person that you guys were just talking about. That's not a girl. Oh, okay. I just thought like, like that oh, her like eyes are, for some reason reminded me of like Naruto and his... Uh, um. His uh, natural energy state, or whatever it was called, the frog one. See, anyway, see. all right, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, horn person was definitely not a girl because remember they interacted and then yeah. he was like, I want to be your friend. And oh, then... no, no, not that one, I'm talking about the other, like the 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 girl. There, there's yeah, a girl that had like a short skirt, the with I swear she has like a little like bump for a horn. Hmm. Wait, which girl? Brian, I'm gonna need your assistance. That might, be, here. that might be the one you're talking about, Sasha. Like, that's I'm pretty sure. What, long Dorsey? hair with a red horn. Oh, long hair, maybe. No, 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 no. Oh, and Dorsey's the orange. Yeah, the orange, orange one. The orange with the short. Who fights hair. lizard girl? Yeah, that's okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, she has a little bump for a horn. I didn't notice that. I just thought okay, that was like hairstyling. Dude, that, I don't even know how you saw that, dude. Why is it the? Bro, it is like noticeable. the most subtle bro, thing in the world. It's right there. It's right there. It's really it's like I have like a third subtle... nipple. It's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most subtle horn known to man. I don't know. If if we're talking about third nipples, that'd be pretty uh pretty obvious, I think. It is that right on the forehead? Dude, if you right. okay. I don't see the horn here. I'm sorry, certain. It's at the hairline. It's a hairline. Sorry, I, I was muted and I had to switch back to the screen. Oh, okay. I was like, um, I just that looks more like one of those hair clips uh, or pins. Hair clips, yeah. Guy said it's a GD horn. No, like I can see what uh, Trent's talking dude, about. Dude, that is a horn. It pops out. Are you telling me like the hair just has like? Oh wait, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that because the glasses turned into pure. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I don't know. It's. I'm gonna still say it's a horn. Just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is your logic? <laughs> I'm gonna just hold hold true that it's a horn dude, and. Uh, oh my god. And uh, we'll just never come back to this again. <laughs> Bold always strategy, Cotton. No, no, I'll make sure you never forget. Uh. <laughs> Watch, Stratton's going to clown us all when she's like, by the way, this is a horn. You just see it like twirl up and get hard. And she's like, yeah, now I have reveal my ultimate power. Yeah, I just I just hope it's like, uh, was it, was it uh, Emmys? Course. Or whatever that, Who? whatever the, the girl from, the, from My Hero Academia, that where you know, I just like a little bump for a horn. I really hope that becomes oh, a horn. Harry. Harry. Yeah, oh, what did I say? Oh, my name Emmys. is Ho. Yeah, that guy's the worst. You know that guy got made a fun of at the tower, like that lower level. Hey, it's the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No one cared about his horn. They just cared about his name. Like, oh, your name a hole. <laughs> yes, because that's that's yes. That's that's not, that's <laughs> such a juvenile joke, guys. Can't believe you. All right, it's okay. All right, so yeah. I think that's. I mean, that's me. All I had to say for this week's episode. So, actually, wait, really? <laughs> I mean, like, well. Because they ended on a cliffhanger, so like, or like basically, like, you, you know what I don't appreciate? Give me another episode where I don't have to see the the credits show up in the middle of what's supposed to be an emotional scene. I was about to turn that off, and then I'm like, wait, are these the credits? And they're like, oh yeah, I go fishing in this village. Ah, we all going die. So, you know, I, I didn't appreciate that. Only you should only do that when it's like the last episode of the season. 
and you're doing that for closure and t- time. But I don't know. Um, All right. Anyways, I was gonna say lots of times <laughs> they do that just because like, just listen, David. I really need your support here. Can you endorse no. me? There's okay. actually a Sasha. To, um, they actually do that a lot. Usually, for some reason, like in emotional scenes. Well, I don't know why. Well, it's either that or it's like an emotional, or like they're pressed like, for time. Okay. Like that too. Oh wow! Uh, breaking news: Brian just posted a picture, and she does have a horn. Holy! It's a horn. So good. <laughs> so good. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like the most red, like though. subtle horn ever, dude. I don't what know if that's how just the a, fuck you saw that. Yeah, it's like you got deformity grown out there. Hey, we can't tell that's a nail on there. What if it's an extra toe? (laughs) I got nothing. Okay. All right. (laughs) Damn, that's crazy, Sred. I I did not, I would never have noticed that. It's okay, guys. Wow. Well, I apologize for calling you out. (laughs) No, I don't. I love calling out. I still don't respect your opinion. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the exact opposite of David. David just keeps trying to call Sred out. I don't always try to call Sred out, but like. Really? Okay, like ninety percent of the time, dude. dude. That's the way he was trained at CSAM, man. I was there. I just, I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Only because it's, it's very easy to make fun of friend. So it's fair. The, the it's bar fair. is low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. It, I, I legit like if I was the only pic- if the first picture was the only one that was shown, I would have been like, okay, maybe I was wrong. But I will. I can yeah. now hold on to my beliefs. But I was just saying that, like, yeah, I mean, and on a cliffhanger, like, it kind of got, I mean, we're, we're slowly building up the lore, so it's hard to, like, it's hard to say, like, you know, every week, like, our discussion, just because, like, it's, it's, it's very much guys... like a slow build, so. Yeah, I was going to ask, do you guys think it's moving slow or fast? It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty slow, but, like. I mean, this uh, episode. It's hard I, to tell. This episode, I, I, I think I medium. Enjoy. I'm gonna go in between. Yeah, I'd I'd have to ask like a buddy of mine that actually read that's like I actually caught up to this and like is he him, like is he reading huh? too then? Or I'm sorry, is he yeah, watching? Yeah, he, he's. I'm pretty sure he's already caught up and he's watching it. So okay. I just have to ask him if like it's going slow or not. I just I mean, say slow. So, like the first huh. three four episodes, he said it was going like at a pretty decent pace. So okay, I just say slow Sorry, just because like I just. The way it's going, like, like you can just tell, like, so many things have to be done, like, after the first season. So, like, it's, yeah. it's going to be hard to see if it ends well. Yeah, from what people told me, um, that they where they think the season's going to end, that's, like, right when the show gets good. I was like, I, I think that's what Peter said, too. So, yep, that's that's where I got it from, yeah. <laughs> so and Peter, one more source, Peter, I guess. Peter just people. Yeah, I was about to say that, too. Peter, people. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep, his reaction is so strong, he counts as multiple people. I don't know what Anyway. That. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, and that's going to be it for a Tower of God. Uh, we're Swing in a bit. <laughs> we're going to move on next to Gleipnir, and Oh, yeah, boy. Apparently Brian's <laughs> caught up. I didn't even know you were watching this show. Yo! So. Hey, Brian, Brian, you Brian caught up? up. He's about to give it up, though. <laughs> it's too much for him today. So, Brian, we'll have you kind of start off with your thoughts. Oh, okay. Brian, don't do that. All right, go oh, ahead, Brian. dude, like, all I got to say is, like, are some of these scenes really that necessary, dude? <laughs> yeah. Brian. Like, these scenes that, yes. like, peak Shred's interest to, like, the maximum. <laughs> Again, why is this just pile on me? <laughs> like, the maximum level. Like, some of these scenes, do they need to be involved, dude? Like, God. All right, man. but let me ask you, Brian. Do you think those scenes are for the greater good? <laughs> <laughs> the greater good of, I don't I have no idea what I'm talking about, but <laughs> David and I, well, actually, we all mentioned this last time. Those scenes don't seem to be too distracting from the actual story itself. Like, you know, it's a weird, curvy <laughs> show, but at the end of the day, like the story is first, and that's what I mean, most I of guess, us appreciate. Like, but if, please, sir, if you look at it from like that point of view, I guess it's all right. But for mm-hmm. me, it's like, dude, really, like they, it's so like sexually innuendo, like because like every time they Bro, enter the suit, I get no so uncomfortable. There. <laughs> I get that's so uncomfortable point, every time they fucking enter the suit because it's like. They're legit having sex. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That Whoa, really? What do you mean? Well, oh my dude. Well, Which okay, Brian. Was that? First episode. Well, let's 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 talk it about this. Right. <laughs> All right. I want you to picture yourself running on a soccer field. <laughs> okay. I'm All right. 
I'm and you dying trip because I don't do cardio. Okay, continue. All right, your your pants rip specifically where your anal cavity is. Okay, and then <laughs> David is behind you, and he's in one of those bubbles. You know the ones that the kids get in and they roll around, they hit each other, but they don't feel any pain because they're in this bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that bubble goes inside of you. All right. <laughs> Technically, you are not having intercourse with David, but he he can feel what you're <laughs> 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 okay, so, okay. It's not all sexual, okay? So yep, that's my cool. You made that way worse than like <laughs> <laughs> But did he understand it though? That point. <laughs> Yep. Oh shit. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> like that. Oh god, that that image was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty horrible. Oh god. So I'm gonna have to, gonna have to ask you to delete well, this. All right, audience. I hope you appreciate the show more. <laughs> oh, but, um, I'll just say. So Brian, are... oh no, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Tosh. Go ahead. Dude. No, you go ahead. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Brian, are you? Are you in danger of dropping the show? I'm just curious about that. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably just going to finish it. Okay. I'll like, be satisfied with that, sir. So, some of these, like, I can pass, like, like some scenes I can pass them not having. Like, please, I'd be okay with it. But, you know, like, the only thing I was carrying it within, like, the first two <laughs> episodes, I think, was the fight scene against, like, the first monster hat. Because that fight scene was fucking dope. That was actually a I know. good fight scene. We were all so into it at that point. Yep, I yeah, we like, agree. the The impact of the hits were there. It was it was a very good fight scene, and then you meet her sister and like the whole shit. That's like, dude, that family, Claire's whole family is just fucked up, dude. Like, I know, but whose family isn't? People, dude. I mean, that one kid, Suichi. We we don't know that yet, man. He he talks I mean, about he his says parents. That he's like a pretty boring like kid. Like that, that's what all the kids. Clean. Who do crack cocaine on Sundays? Say, <laughs> <laughs> come on! His parents named him Shuichi, man. <laughs> was wrong with I, I guarantee you, they're like, oh, Shu and Ichi, like they had an itchy foot, and they're like, oh, we can't call him Ichi foot, so let's call him Shu. <laughs> yes. <laughs> While well, they're smoking uh, their crack, yeah. it's it's pretty messed. Up. <laughs> that's, that's one theory. Hmm. All right. I'm putting that out there. Okay, I just I just want to mention just for like the etchy stuff, like um, at least for like, like yes, like I hear Brian, there, like there is a lot of weird anyway knows in this show, like. But... It's making me hot. My glasses are fucking up. <laughs> hey, you get it in you endo, <laughs> oh, in because that's all they're doing to this kid is just fucking raping. <laughs> All right, all right, Brian. Oh, agree please, or okay. disagree? Would you be that tongue guy who licks the phone? Absolutely <laughs> not, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. Dude, I'm so glad he died right away. I was like, this guy needs to fucking just fall over instantly. All right, all right, right let me ask you a quick question, sir. What What is your dream car? <laughs> Wait, what? What is your dream car? A Tesla. All right, bro. You're gonna go to the dealership. <laughs> and you're like, I'm just looking at this, but I, you know, and, you, and the car salesman comes out. He's looking kind of big and green and has a large tongue. <laughs> and he says, man, I'll give you this car for free. If you just get in the truck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you, you taking it or not? Because that's at least $40,000. Yeah, I know, right? Just to get in a car truck? Sure, dude, why not? I'll get in the truck. All, right. All right, you're good, man. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> All right, David, please resume. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I can. <laughs> you pretty much, I think you said it, whatever needs to be said. Dude, we haven't even talked about <laughs> this. <laughs> maybe Sasha maybe said, we need to drop the show because it brings out the worst of us, you know? No, no, I yep. think Sasha has said what, what needs to be said. So. That's right. All right. I, I apologize for that, guys. Let's let's get to the actual I show. I just mentioned that, like, at least for this oh. show, um, what was it, like, at least compared to other etchy shows, like it's not totally in your face. That's why it doesn't it doesn't feel as awkward as dude. other etchy shows. Really, dude? I don't know, man. I, I was know. first thinking it wasn't in your face, but it's it's good, dude. Man. Well, it's this, pretty, last, yeah. this last episode was. Look at this image and tell me that's not that in your last face, episode right? was okay. The first four wasn't, but like 
This last episode okay, was. Cause, cause because first thing in this episode, when it when the, it first like showed this, it was like you know the 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 trust uh, thing was about to happen. Oh, I thought, okay, and then they that, that, that part away. was really unnecessary. Oh, no, no, no. So. I first thought it was. I first thought I was like, okay, they're not going to show it. Good, you know, that we don't need to see it. And was it maybe thirty seconds later they go right back to it? I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this. So like, yeah, that part I don't know. Like even as like as fan service, like it just felt so unnecessary because it they did nothing for like the characters. So I think it's just like yeah, the but manga. you have to look at. Oh. Who their fans probably are, in all honesty. You're a 16 year old and you're watching the shit. You're like, oh man, yeah. <laughs> right? As us, we're like, ah, whatever, man. Let's move on from this. So they're trying to cater to that because you can tell the guy who wrote this, probably not the most sane guy. All he does is put hair over people's boobs. It's really awkward. So well, I, mean, I think it's that, 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 the animators. That, that, that's that's, that's, a, like that's a censorship manga. thing, just so like, because you can't show nipples. Oh, so that's how I'm, you... I'm sure you see the whole thing in the manga. Yeah. Right, David. Confirmation. I don't remember. So don't don't lie. I don't remember. <laughs> Fake part. So David's like sweating. He's got the big sweat. <laughs> <with that. laughs> He's like daddy. Oh, good. <laughs> 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 uh, <sighs> so man. All right. Anyway, no, I actually thought like uh, from this episode that the story kind of progressed. You got to know more about the. You, you found out more about the characters. We mm-hmm. still don't know what they know about uh, her sister. Um, do so, you guys think she actually knows something, or do you think she's just lying? I think she knows. I think she knows. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I I didn't realize that, like, the pictures from last episode, I thought it was, like, an evil organization. I didn't realize that was the group they were going to, like, team up with. So, I got baited. How, so, it, do we know if this is a good organization? Sorry, it's actually good. Oh, no, not no. Not no, no, no organization, good. just, like, a random group of people. They seem friendly, but then they assume that green guy worked for them, right? Because that's whose phone he had. So maybe he's actually working for a different set of people, and they he said, had taken that guy's phone. They said the camera guy was being blackmailed by the frog guy. Oh, okay, okay, you're right, you're right. So Dude, frog guy is not associated with them. No. Yeah, green guy just but, okay. Just yeah. like, was dead. Yep. Yeah. Um. Do uh th- th- like their team? They don't even seem like really that strong, but it seems like they all like their monster quirk. They all have like a specific ability. It's really weird how like most of them aren't even like like transform. They're just like normal people. Yeah. Like there's like the guy in the suit is like that's just it's just himself, and then like even the chick like know. the chick all all she has is like the, the cross on her on on her, and then like that one girl has the like the, the animal ears. So yeah, because ever. Everybody we've seen, like they have the cross in their eye. Um, yeah. I don't think anyone had that cross yet I in think, this group. I think we, oh. Well, I can't remember. I can't remember. You only get it when you transform or not, but like. But they're but they're transformed. Yeah, it's yeah, only pulse transformation. They yeah. have the cross in your eye. Brian, yeah. you already got it. Nice. You're a good man, Brian. See, you like the show. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's I gotta I'm say, I, I do like their explanation for it though, where she said basically, like, if you know what you want, that's the power you're gonna get. Whereas if you don't know, it's your subconscious is what's going to come through, which is why that girl was like so embarrassed. And that guy is a freaking telescope or whatever. He is. <laughs> Dude, that guy is. <laughs> he's going to end up doing something stupid. Dude, he, he is. He's he's gonna quarter. Next quarter. I mean, next, not next quarter. Next episode, he's fucking dead. See, well, it's either that or he's going to be the one that, like, that gets them like all caught. So. Uh, I think, well, I think he's going to be following them because uh, they already kind of, you know, when they went out to go find her, her wallet. That of course the OP group found the wallet, fucking, and then I think they're Subaru. gonna, yeah, Subaru, uh, and then they're gonna run into them, and then I think it's gonna be where that's gonna be one of those where they're about to die or something's gonna happen, and the camcorder guy might run out and die, even though he seems like he's really mad, even though all like he'd betrayed them. All all she did was get into a suit, guys. I mean, come on, hey. that, that's yeah, cool. naked, come sir. on, man, yeah, naked. butt ass naked. I was her call. He had nothing to do with that. Yeah, and, and it was zero consent too. So you know, um, dude, Shuichi, man, you, you gotta step up. <clears throat> like I said, I'm a fan of Claire, so this is where I felt hurt, man. He's gonna let another girl just do that right there, like just get in the suit like that, which so makes I, sense because that's his character. But come on, bro, you can't be dude, doing that to Claire. She's got was, feelings, man. I'm not okay. gonna lie. So like in episode four, like when the upperclassmen try to start shit with that kid, and then he like almost broke his arm. I was like, "Yes, dude, badass. Keep that up." Nope, that shit lasted a good like 15 seconds and never came back. I'm like, "Yo, 
What the fuck happened to that kid? Oh, so actually I got a connection to that, my man. So I actually like that detail because if you think about it, let's talk about your perfect six pack abs. Those took how long to get? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. So let's let's just assume, you know, it was massive amounts of working out plus watching your diet over time, right? Like you might get like a little bit of definition, but over time you get the actual six pack. You got to dedicate so much time to it. And I think his character is showing flashes of stepping up, but it would it would be so awkward. So I'm going to go back to one show real quick. I'm going to recall to, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on, oh, uh, Vinland Saga. When a certain character has that big f switch, this is exactly what I'm talking about. In, that, in the context of Vinland Saga, that switch seemed so improbable to me. Like it didn't seem mm. like it was reasonable. Whereas this seems far more reasonable because I know myself... If I'm making changes, typically the habits take a while to sink in. Like, I have never done anything in my life where I'm like, the next day, I'm like, yep, that's going to change, and then stick with it, right? So, in my opinion, I think his development is actually really good. And this shows, yeah, he's got some balls, but yeah, he's still pretty weak when it comes towards uh, other nice people, it seems like. Like, he reverts mm -hmm. back to being nice. Fair enough. Agreed. Everything of that sort of... Yeah, good. Um, I'll just say, like, I'm... Like, I don't think that the group they were in is, they don't look that strong. So I'm really worried that they're just going to get wrecked by, like, Elena and her group. Well, like I said, like, I mean, I, I would, I'm, I'm guessing that her group, I mean, they all do, like, a specific thing. But they all just kind of uh, work well as a team. I don't, I yeah, guess. I don't see, like, any, like, strong individual. So, like, and I assume, I'm like, Elena's group are going to be like, as strong as her. So I'm going to guess the strongest, the strongest one is that normal guy. That normal Probably. looking guy. Yeah. Oh, the lawyer looking dude? Yeah. 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 With yeah. long hair, yes. Yep. That is him. Yeah, we'll see. We we like she mentioned. She goes, "You don't know everyone who's in our group, so there could be some members that weren't there." That big dog, he looks nice and cuddly and friendly, but maybe he just like crushes your ribs. Who knows? Like, oh, I don't remember that. I was just, I actually just remember like they had, I just remember they had Sunbay in like in waiting somewhere. So I guess he can always show up randomly. He's oh like, man! He's, like, so wait, he's a summon now. <laughs> cool. I gotta ask you. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What do you think about that? So they introduced this extremely badass character in Sambe. Was, it, was that his name? Yeah. Sambe? Yeah, Sambe. Sambe. Okay. Thank, I keep forgetting that. I'm sorry, guys. Sambe. Okay. And my, in my opinion, I thought they were going to go the route of, okay, Sambe joins their crew and they show how they work together by defeating a foe in this episode. Completely went the opposite direction and just kind of put him on the sidelines. They're like, he's like, nah, I'm not going to help you guys out with some scrubs. What are your thoughts as a person who has claimed, you know, these shows pick up steam or they start off with uh, really good episodes and then kind of lose steam? What do you think so far? Yeah, so you know how Brian just started watching this, right? And he's completely caught up. And it looks like he was on board of everything until this episode. <laughs> so I feel like this episode is like the downturn of. of oh, damn. You think so too? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, because like like he did mention, right? Like, you know, I'm I'm all for this um like fan service every now and then, but it does have to be done tastefully. But with the amount of like innuendo that they were throwing out this whole series, I thought it was like it was fine, right? It was it was just enough to to kind of like uh, let the people who enjoy the fan service get what they want, but not enough to kind of just ruin the story. But kind of like how Brian mentioned, like when when Claire and the the, the lesbo chick went in that room, that scene wasn't really even necessary like when claire brought up hey is this part of the ceremony she was like no it wasn't part of the pack and then she just got up and decided to do the pack for real so you can tell it wasn't it wasn't essential to the story other than the fact that you now know that she's a lesbian and that's why she had an eye for claire from the very beginning when she popped out of the suit um but yeah like the fan service is kind of a little bit overboard and i don't feel like it's necessary and they got rid of the one guy who i thought was pretty cool like I guess he would be the 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 rack of the of the series. Hell yeah, dude! I'm on that boat too. Yeah, and then they just completely threw him out, and now <laughs> we have a whole new cast that's completely weak. I, like I said, completely unnecessary, and it looks like they're about to fight the Elena's group next. So I feel like this group is just gonna get wiped out, and then Zombie's gonna have to come in and save everyone. Well, do you think the whole group's gonna uh, meet with uh, Claire's sister though? Because it's only uh, uh, Shuichi and um, Animal Girl. Yeah, but I feel like with the telescope guy getting really mad about the oh, yeah, yeah, um, relationship yeah. with, with her and Shuichi, I feel like he's just going to betray him and just say, fuck it. You know, if I can't have her, no one can, and he's just going to 
he's going to cause shit to happen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could see that too. Um, but yeah, wow. I mean, like I said, I I did I did somewhat enjoy the series, but uh, yeah, this episode is the thing that makes it seem like it's going to just focus more on fan service, less on the story content, and it's going to slowly drag down the series. I think. I, I thought they added more to the story. Like you, like they introduced more characters. They kind of introduced like, um, kind of I guess more of a path they're going instead of just like fighting people constantly. They actually they're joining a group. Just ma- I mean mainly to get information, and it seems like with uh, the truth thing on Claire that it seems like they'll be kind of with them for a while. I'm guessing. Kind of, like honestly, that, that was kind of stupid. Like I thought her pack would be a lot more terrible ability. Yeah. yeah. So if if you let me, I'm gonna put this hair strand around your necklace, and if you feel like you betrayed me, you're gonna die. What 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 kind of power is that? That doesn't make any sense. How does she agree. accumulate such a big group of followers with this ability? That that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, we'll find out. We don't know what if that could be the extent of her powers, but we have. I mean, that's what she revealed to Claire so far. But who knows what else is there? We also don't know her relation to the other people yet, too. So it's it's really hard to say. Also, what's up with the black X? Did one of her kidneys get taken? I don't know what's going on. There's oh, there's the, more to the, that. The cross. Ooh, you mean? I'm part of. Her, like, oh, it was a cross. I think it's a cross because like it's like the oh. part, like the trans the, yeah. the transformation cross. I, thing. I thought it was yeah. like. You know when they take organs and shit from people, and then they just put like black tape on there because no. they're like, "We gotta get out of here, man. They're gonna die." <laughs> I think I think it's the cross from like, like it's just it's on her like her side and something. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, shoot, I forget. I completely forgot. Go ahead. All right. So we got Ku and Brian. Me and Sretin are still in. David, where are you at? Because you're the only one who's read the manga. Yeah. I mean, this is this is it's getting close to the part where I have where I don't know what's going on anymore. So I'm still in. I just I worry about the ending though. I like I don't know how it's how it's gonna end because I didn't expect to run into Elena again. So I don't I don't want them to face them at the end because it's not gonna end well. So fair, fair. Yeah, I'd say I'm I'm st- definitely still into it. I, it's definitely my show of the season so far out of the two shows that I watch. <laughs> but <laughs> it's it, it's keeping me entertained because it's unexpected. Like I didn't foresee this route coming at all i thought if anything like i mentioned it was going to be some more sambe adventures and they fight random people etc etc but i do like the way they're showing the character development like i had mentioned with brian's topic earlier about shuichi etc etc so for me it's still definitely keeping up the level of interest i like the characters i think spyglass guys is a lot of guys out there like especially <laughs> those who don't have confidence they're just like uh, yeah i can just oh no what? Yeah. um right and then you have your classical case of a person who's been wronged and then secret gets out and it's pretty much uh ir- irreparable so you can't go back and fix anything um so i feel like they're they're doing a good job of taking these kind of common themes and weaving them together and now I'm curious to see where it's going to go. But I see your guys' points. I see your guys' points. And I, I yeah. just wish. You, you know, honestly, I feel joy. like these next two episodes is going to play a key role into how the story uh, unfolds. I think right. the action will will come back, though. So I think, like, that's why I'm not as worried as much as the fans are. I think, I think it will go back to the action. I think it's just this. Hopefully, this is just like more of like a one off, like really fan series episode. Uh, yeah. So. I mean, how many more contracts can they really, uh, you know, enter into where it's? Um... Well, and, and the fact that like the just, I mean, the way the way it ended with the cliffhanger and just like just the revelation of like Elena's group. Like, yeah, I think it's gonna lean more back in the action. Oh, um, David, back to the the point earlier about how like uh, how she amassed like the group that she has. Um, uh, like for, from the the animal girl when she said like she's not there for power. I mean, they they could all be kind of following that same thought as well. That they're just there to, I guess, just keep it away from others, and then they could have just come into it like a come into like a pact or an agreement to just you know, fight for the same thing. But I mean, that's the only one we've gotten for, like that it actually has that answer. Um, I don't think we've gotten anybody's like responses as to why no. like they're with her. But again, <laughs> with, with, the leader, I mean, with the leader with that lame ability and the fact that one of the <laughs> Two of the members we've seen, right? Uh, the telescope guy, he seems kind of useless, and he's kind of a wuss. And then you got that one chick that has cat ears because she really likes animals. Uh, <laughs> she got- that, that hot, right? They don't seem to be that powerful. So 
I don't think they're gonna last. In all honesty, I'd say maybe one or two episodes, they're all just gonna die out. Or like just be irrelevant to the whole story. Yeah, I can see that. Except the guy that's like in the the lawyer guy that's not nope, him too. Him too. <laughs> He's gonna go too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who's all in, man? Brian, pred- pred- predictions for the next episode because you're on the fence too. Is the next episode make or break for you, Brian? Uh, no, I'm I'm already just going to commit all the way through it. So all right, I like your style, episode. Brian. There's no, I mean, I'm, I'm going to commit to it too, like, but are you going to enjoy it? Yes. That's hard. I'll Ooh. just look for it. I'll mostly look forward to like the fighting, like how the fighting turns out because like episode two's fighting like piqued my interest because. Like the impacts of the hits were really good compared to like other shows where like they don't do shit. So you don't like that uh, that going into the suit animation? No, they. Like, <laughs> I really want to do. I get like so it's Confirming. like the same uncomfortable feeling that I got during a uh, Darling and the Franks, dude. That it was the most uncomfortable feeling <laughs> I ever had. Like sitting here and watching those animes, dude. All right, bro. I'm gonna give you the most uncomfortable feeling. It's not sexual at all. It yeah. is in. Made an abyss. Okay, I need you to watch that. It's only what is it, like twelve episodes, I believe. Just or thirteen, and it's like episode nine or ten. One of them. I, I, it's towards the second half of the show. That episode was twenty-four minutes or whatever. It felt like four minutes, and that one scene was the most uncomfortable I felt watching anime. And it wasn't like, oh, uh, you know, I, I got to turn away. It was just like, what am I watching? Like my stomach was literally. I feel like, like I'm pretty sure I've seen a clip of what you're talking about. Does you probably with, have like, somebody dying. It looks like they are. Let's just say that. But <laughs> let, let me just put it out there that um, you got to watch it with the context of the show being built up. Because once you realize, like, oh man, it's happening for these reasons. This is what's happening right now. You're just like, oh. So uh, yes, but I've not watched Darling and the Franks. I do remember you saying, "Don't watch that." Yeah. It'd be best if you didn't watch that show. It's a, yeah. it's a unique taste. Yeah. Uh, I would say, like, the etchy, that's what it's called? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the etchy stuff, I'll give you an example of a show that I didn't find entertaining and, and it bothered me, was Kill a Kill. Even though it wasn't anything near as severe as what you have in Gleipnir, it just, it felt like it, it had zero purpose, kind of like Ku was saying, in adding value to the story or to the show. Whereas with this show, I feel like this is part of their identity. It's, yeah, we're going to give you this humor, we're going to give you this sexual innuendo, but we're also going to drive a pretty good story home. Whereas with Kill a Kill, I felt like we're going to give you this style and this pizzazz, but there's literally no story. It's just your typical, you got to defeat this like run of random people and then you'll be free, blah, 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 revenge plot. So I, I, would, I, I see where you guys are coming from in that regard. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for this week's episode of uh, Glape Near. All right, let me shout out to Johan real quick. Que tenga buena noche, amigo. Okay, gracias. Salud. Right. Oh, she never hear response. <laughs> All right, and then um, me and Stray are gonna move on next to um, Hemi Fura or the Ultimate Game. Yes. Um. So this episode, it was just I I don't know what I to call it filler, but it was just like it was like what four different mini. Three or four different mini episodes. Oh, if there's a if there's a filler episode, this is gonna be it then, yeah. Like I mean, not like filler as in like not canon, but more as in like nothing really happened. Cause I guess it's still like part of summer break. But yeah. um Yeah. I mean really the only summer like the, the, the purpose of the summer break it just seems like I mean getting closer to uh uh the MC. I don't know her name. I'm blanking on it. Even though Katarina. they say like a thousand times. Yeah, Kat- yeah, Katarina. Katarina Callis. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with Katarina. The other part's too hard. Um, it, it just looked like they were getting closer to her. Um, it's it, She at least noticed or thinks that one of the dudes like her. I would assume that was too obvious. Wait, wait, it's got to be a which date. guy? Kirito. I don't know his okay. name. Oh, um, yeah. Nicole or Nicholas. Yeah, I don't know it, Nicholas because it's, it's like Nicole or whatever, but it, it sounds like Nicole, yeah. so I'm going to call him Nicholas. But yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it's... Yeah, okay, he, I, I do remember uh, that part, but I, even still, like, I think she's still like too dense. I don't know. That's, oh, for everything else, yeah. Well, even I mean, yeah, yeah. Because she did have that. Basically, she thought, "Oh man, does he like me?" And then she just kind of like passed out, or, or fainted, or whatever you want to call it. Which I think it's it's got to be a bait because usually if a character realizes this, there's something up. There's something wrong. It just like or, everything like, that's happening in this show so far doesn't doesn't like it doesn't seem like she like. 
understands any of it. So it's hard for me to believe that she'll actually pick up on that. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to take a long time. Like, it's like, it's basically the dudes, like they all, they all realize and recognize that they like her, but obviously she doesn't like it or she doesn't uh, like understand this. And then you have um, where she still believes like, uh, what is it? Um, the, the gray hair guy where she's like, Oh, maybe he likes, or he likes. Oh, like, well, it's like, she's still, yeah. she's still thinking that like the game is um like, it's still everything's that happened the way it happened in the game. So like, like that's why she early she was practicing the snake throwing because she still thinks like yeah. the Gerardo is like you know black hearted even though I think like he doesn't really I mean besides being creepy like he's more like possessive than like black hearted yeah. so I think yeah. like it's more that like like for him um he doesn't like he can't really say he's black hearted now with all the changes that's happened and then same with like Alan too it's like she thinks that like like he's still like you know or he he thinks that like he's she's she thinks that he's in love with mary even though like it's like both of them are are trying like not are trying to get like get her over over their their actual spouse like their actual fiance so yeah but um this episode though they did drop um how there was another path that was apparently really difficult and we don't know who even though i I think we know who it is I'm pretty sure it's a student council president, isn't it? It's gotta be the right hair dude, yeah. Like, I mean, who else? He's like, like, they showed nobody else. He's like the side character that like that wasn't yeah. in the original game, but it's like he would be the only one that would have the, the hidden route. Well, he was in the original game, but he played really no part. Yeah, but or with or so they thought or he's, he's, well, he, no, he's a side he's the side route, but they're saying how like like you know, just like dating sims, like there's probably like, usually sometimes there's a hidden route. He's probably like the hidden route. Yeah. But yeah, I can see that. And also, it must be like the most difficult route. Um, it seems like uh, for everybody's after him, females at least. I don't know about males. <laughs> um, but the, it basically seemed like that. Uh, was it like the evil group? Basically, the, the chick who's taken place uh, or taken Katarina's place of the the original route. I mean, like, it's she's... like it's like her group. It's, it's, it's like her groupies, but, but like she's not like the leader of them, like in the original game. Yeah, no, I'm... dude. It's like oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Um, I was just thinking with like a, it's like it's like the groupies. Like I don't think they can really do much. But then again, it's just like Katarina has like no uh, magic skills, which we've uh, already yeah. uh, talked about last episode. But it's just like I don't think those groupies really do anything anyway because they're also running away from Katarina. So I would assume that they have uh, almost no abilities as well. I mean, they're only there just to bully Maria. So that's like their only purpose in the story. But, but why though? Because I it just like from a, what we know, she's Maria, a commoner. Cause they're, they're classes. Yeah, but yeah, but but I mean, but I mean, like Maria seems like she's so much strong. Like because we know she's really good with but light. She's a commoner, Tren. Okay. Yeah. No. But are you gonna mess up with a commoner if they have like if they have the the ability meteor? David? Yes, because you're a noble and you think you're better than them. It's called classism, <sighs> Tren. Cast meteor, F them all. It's called <laughs> classism, man. God, it, it's uh, like in I don't know. In her in her situation, she legit I just assume can blow everybody away. Even though we don't even really know what she does besides cook. Um, she she's like stereotypical like saint priestess class like where like a oh, priest, she has like the holy like the far the strongest holy magic. But it's like this like the, the, the dating sim wasn't meant to be like like heavy on like the oh, magic system. Yeah. It's just generic, but basically like yeah. it's because she's well it's because um. In the original game, like no one, uh, she has a she has a special like light power, but she's still discriminated because she's a commoner. So mm-hmm. that's why. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I mean, it's uh, do you think they're gonna like going from here on out? Do you think they're gonna focus? Do you think they're gonna try to lean more on um the magic part? Uh, it seems no. like her gardening is doing well. No, I her gardening is really taking off. But. They never really the magic was never really a focus in the show. It's mainly like the dating sim aspect. I guess okay. Uh, next question. Where so since we're pretty sure that the student council person is like this the the mysterious route that she dreamed about. Um, do we think that like how do we think that's gonna go? I guess like do you think this is gonna be like the evil route or do you think this is gonna be like the just another know. normal uh, more like, add to the harm? I, it because the whole show just makes it seem like. That Maria's like the canon pair. Like she's just gonna end up with Maria. It's either that or no one or open ended. The only like student council president, would be, he'd be like the only guy that'd be like 
that she would go for. Like hmm. in the end. He'd be like the hidden, like the the hidden character that actually like that she would fall for, but I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm like nervous. Well, okay, and then the thing, too, the thing, too, is I don't know like, if it's going to end this season either, so I don't know how, like, this show would end. So I can't... So this kind this Because, like, Isekais, they never, they never usually end in the first season anyways. Yeah. So maybe that's why first season probably be more open-ended. She probably won't pick anyone. Oh, yeah. So I, I don't think they're going to pick anyone. I could maybe see him being, like, something, like, more important in, like, in, like, a later season. I don't really see him doing... Maybe not doing much in this first season. Maybe he's just a doom route and just leads everything to doom. Maybe, yeah. Good, even though, like, I mean, this 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 show has had no dark dark themes at all. It's basically just been all it's, comedy and slice yeah. of life. It's really hard to guess what what he's what his deal is. So I don't know. Like, yeah. like I'm still in the ultimate, show. Like, ultimate games are not my specialty, despite how much knowledge I might have. But like, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with the guy. Like, what's, what's the whole deal with him? Like, if it was like if it was like you know our regular harms, like. She just be another part of the harm, so yeah. Like no, I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I'm like I'm still thinking like the show's getting better and better. Like I'm um for me, it's like my second best show. I think it's starting to turn um, on. I, like, I I did I don't know. This this episode for me was a drag. Like I think the comedy is starting to get repetitive, and like it's starting to get annoying how just how much he doesn't realize how like I mean even though like I don't really care for any of the guy characters, I still like feel bad for them just because of how oh, there's a couple of like just how like they try so hard and like and nothing's working so yeah uh oh i mean going into one of these shows i'm just like already kind of like set and prepared like the the main the, the mc is just going to be just oblivious to everything that's how i am i'm able to enjoy all the harms and rom-coms i watch i have to basically just kind of block that portion out uh it, so it's so it's uh but, but besides that though like um I, I still think it's it's doing. Uh, I, I still think it's getting better. I laughed out. I like I laughed aloud a few parts of this episode, but I don't remember where or when it happened. I just know I laughed, and I thought like oh, I okay, saw, this episode. Is I saw it right. Everyone's making meme with a goose, but like besides that. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Besides that, yep. it's like I don't know. Like <laughs> I'm hoping like something like story wise happens next episode because like just a summer vacation in general just. Like, oh, no, this was definitely the filler episode, but the drop, David, was that mis- that uh, mystery, uh, the mystery route. I guess, but the hard it, route, it wasn't. I guess. It wasn't enough to like to keep me interested. Like, I, I kind of need something more story, right. or sorry, but, something story, or like just her like actually realizing that like that like the, that, that that her life right now isn't gonna happen the same as the game. Right. Like, I think that that but, whole that whole thing is like it's going on for too long. Yeah, but for the for filler episodes though, they usually don't have anything that's canon, and it was actually like a it was nice for them to at least drop that can- the little canon bit right at the end. Uh, yeah, just to... it just for me, it's just it's just yeah, just ruining the pace. That's that's why I don't like past two episodes. It's ruining, hopefully... it's ruining the momentum that they had in the beginning. So, well, hopefully the next episode is better, and I can attempt to talk you. Out yeah. of this whole day, but get out of the yeah. pool. I wish Taylor was here because I I want to know if she agreed with me or not. So, no, she enjoyed it. Okay, well, she then I'm, just alone. I'm just alone then. But it's okay, man. That's just next my... episode. You'll you'll join us. I feel it. That's just my thoughts. So I'm alone. <laughs> yeah. So that's not, that's all I guess I had to say because nothing really much happened like for me at least. But... Oh no, it was still filler. I mean, like really, like I said, like the only point was the ending. So. Yeah. Next episode, we're getting back on track. We'll, we'll see. Alright, All right, so that's going to be it for Hamifura for me and Sven. Uh, next, we're going to move on to Kaguya-sama with me and Ku. Um, uh, yes, I, this episode. So, so much to look forward to. What did you think of this episode? Because I know you didn't really... You didn't think the last week's episode was that good? But I, So I want to hear what you thought about this week's episode. I want to say this one was one of my favorites just because it brought back one of my other favorite plots from the last season where uh chica, chica, yeah. Chiching, Chirgane. yeah it was just like oh man how are you gonna top that right and then just the fact that this guy was just so bad at singing that he literally sounded like um i can't even explain it but it was just like six dying uh birds just trying to croak or six dying frogs just croaking at the same time and it was just it was just horrid and then 
I thought she wasn't going to teach him anymore, but I guess she got bought up by that uh, the sob story he had when he was a little kid. Um, but yeah, no, just the whole the whole teaching phase and then uh, the payoff was I thought it was pretty funny. So I have to I have to confess that like I'm bad singing too, so I totally relate with Shirohane. I I can't like figure out n- notes at all. I don't think I'm tone deaf. I just like I just need to, like know like. The differences between like the musical noises so like when she did the so and the ray part i was like oh, shit i don't know how i would sing the difference between the two so I it t- makes you wonder right like if everyone was is like that they just don't know about it i was just i never pay attention to any of the general music class because it just it bored me but like i probably should have but i don't know. i think like or it's singing like singing is not a strong point because i i'm more i think i i i've been better at instruments than singing so like I can pick up the noises for the instruments, not just for singing though. But I never had like teachers in classmates tell me, like, "Hey, can you not <laughs> sing for this part?" That's, that's more. To... That's more. I feels bad, man. I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just just lip sync. <laughs> I was like, "Oh damn, that oh feels bad." Like, can you imagine as a kid just getting told that constantly? I I can I can see why he wants to sing, but he just can't because he knows he's horrible. Actually, that's, why, that's why I, I picked. That's why I also picked general music. It's because I didn't want to do choir because I didn't want to sing. Oh yeah, I went to a poor school. We didn't. We didn't have that option. There was no music whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, why was the thing that also kind of like piqued my interest was like, why is Chica leading the whole school on this uh, in the school anthem? I think was she, she always. I don't know if she was always, but like she she's known for her, her musical skill, so it wouldn't surprise me. That she's a conductor. I think that's like her specialty is what we've seen so far. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose, but I mean, she apparently she's really good at volleyball. She's really good at like the the musical. I don't think she's uh, really good at volleyball. Uh, I think she's just it's just that that show guy was so bad that like no no, no person dude, would have done after after her one week training like sure uh he was basically a god right at volleyball. Was so... he? I don't remember that. I think he's just. I mean, he was he was really good, but then when okay. you when you go from like from not even able to like hit the ball over the net to like I mean, be able to hit all the basics, you say and, a god, you but know. I don't think he's like high Q level. So, I mean, just a god in their world, not in other worlds. Of course, if you compare it to Dragon Ball, he's literally just a tadpole in a big pond of awesomeness. But I mean, yeah, like he, he her teaching was amazing, and you can't not be good at something and, and teach someone to be exceptionally well in that certain area. I thought it was just pretty funny how, like, the beginning part, she was like, oh, it can't be that bad. Like, it's just singing, and this is something I'm actually good at, you know? And then, like, they get to it, and he's like, man, like, fuck you, Shurgana, how dare you bait me like this? Yeah, right? And then she got PTSD when he was like, hey, can you teach me? He's like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm so mad at myself for being so naive. I'm mad at you for baiting me. But then, like when she was oh, teaching him man. too, it was, it was it was really wholesome because like she was, she's like even just like the teaching him so, and then she was like riding on the chalkboard, and like she, it kept pointing you know higher, higher, and then like bro at the end like doesn't feel good with the heart. That was really wholesome. Yeah, and then like I said, for the payoff at the very end, like she just started crying. Like I think in the first season, she was like, "Hey, you know, like I I did that, like I raised them, you know, blah blah blah." And then for this one, it's kind of the same thing, but. It's I guess it's more sentimental because um I, I don't know why, but yeah, when she started crying at the end, I I was kinda hoping it would go for more like comedic route, but I guess this was fine too. But. Yeah. I mean I, I like I really like their relationship, how it's their like 'cause you know like other shows this would be like a love triangle with like with Chica and, and Kaguya, but here it's it's more like she's trying to be a, you know an actual good friend, so that's nice to see. And like it's still, the comedy still works. Like there's still a lot of, like comedy between them. It doesn't have to be like romantic comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that was like so that was like I think that was like the middle, um, like section of the skit because the first the first one was like it was when Kaguya was at it was in um yeah Shogane he actually got good sleep and he had good health and so actually look he looked presentable for everyone else except for Kaguya because she just she liked like him looking tired yeah, apparently she reason. liked she liked the coldness like the, yeah, had that, the, that weird, the intimidating aura well, that he had apparently so before that like she had she, she of course you know asking for a friend like why she feels this way and like and uh, the one girl uh, I think her name was like Kagi 
Ka- Kashiwagi or whatever, like, she was so embarrassed that, like, like Kaya, like, was, like, so upfront about like, her, like, true love for her. And then, uh, and then she comes, just comes in and be like, why are you bro, come up like a total chat, bro. Why are you bro? afraid of, like, appearance, you know? Real love is this, blah, blah. <laughs> I know it's not meant to be taken seriously, but that part was just, oh my god, like. I think that's the only time he's ever, like, looked cool in a series, right? I guess, but, like, it's just. It was so very like out of the blue and like so unlike him. So, yeah, but I mean, I like Chica's answer better. Just the fact that she called him straight out like that ain't real love. It's just fucking <laughs> people like that suck, and it's that's yeah, love is fake. And then ah, dude, Chica's best girl, dude. And then best just, girl, kind of. Well, I mean, and then like, I I mean, like Kaya was like, or people were worried for Kaya, just saying how like she she has this, this weird fetish for like for like presence like like tired eyes i think but people on reddit are just saying more it's more that she's so in love with him that like that's why she likes him that way because like it just reinforces her love so no i think it was more the fact that with that look he was also giving off like a certain aura certain presence right he was so intimidating that no one ever talked to him just casually and then with that cool look that he was having it was just due to the fact that he was always like like easily annoyed or just constantly irritated because he has like uh yeah, you know he's lacking man. sleep right he's a right he's man. busy so i guess she liked that she likes someone who's who's stern and has that that resting bitch face i uh, guess i, I mean guess i agree more called. red that like because she was already like in love with him that like that it's not as weird to her as it is to other people so i, think I mean but when was the last time you've ever seen him like seeing each other that way though i think that's the first time he's ever shown off his like well rested yeah. face so. so i think it's because she it was like it different from the norm for her. That's why it threw her off. So, so, uh, yeah. so I don't think it's just like yeah. It's not really that she. So I don't think it's that she really likes his like his cold like eyes. It's just it's just that it's what she's used to. So it's what's considered normal for her because she's still really sheltered too. So yeah. And then that was like the first section, and then the third section it was um oh yeah it was Kaguya trying to. I don't know, like, like yeah, went over Eno. Yeah, I don't know, like but, black, uh, blackmail turn... or like, intimidate or whatever. I don't know. What to call it. it just it didn't work. So I didn't think it was going to turn over that quickly, to be honest. And then all of a sudden, she got paralyzed with fear because it, she just completely like she set up this amazing opportunity for Kaguya, and then all of a sudden, she just tore it down, causing Kaguya to be completely paralyzed, and. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if she wasn't such a prude, like, I think she'd be a great president, but I, I feel like she's still too naive or yeah. too ignorant. So it's, it wouldn't work out regardless. Yeah. It's, it's like she has the right ideas, but just the, I think it's the wrong execution because she's, she's trying to be super strict with like, because she, she thinks that like that, like, relationship between guys and girls is, is like impure when it's like, yeah, but like I said, I think it's just her her ideas aren't ideal in a sense. It's too old old fashioned. Yeah. So it would never work. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Um, the last part. Yeah, I mean, the last part. I mean, it was like the whole like bait and switch was kind of funny, but I think yeah, the middle part was like the best. That's what I remember the most was just Chica and and Shirogane. Yeah, that was my favorite part. Like. Uh, I don't know. It's just so many good memories. So many things about that one segment that was really enjoyable. I think for me, it's just because so. it was like it was just relatable. Just I suck at singing too, so I I relate to Shogane. Like I refuse to admit that I suck because I love to sing, but um, that's when I'm alone in my car. So <clears throat> I'll leave it at that. I mean, with karaoke with friends, I don't care. But like, hey, man, I'm not, I think not gonna do it in a school yeah. setting. <laughs> Yeah, you do it in the car sending solo. <laughs> no, I no, I'm willing to karaoke with others, yes. but no, I'll do it in friends with friends, but not oh, not, yeah, not I... a school setting, not in choir. I'm not gonna sing in choir. No, no I'll do it with you because you're not the only one, so it's whatever. No, I'll be there no, lip syncing, yeah. just like Shirokane. No, because I need you to be 21 plus, and then we're good to go. <laughs> Couple okay, of drinks in you. That's different. Yeah. Like, like, everyone will sing when they're drunk. That's not true. I don't know, I'll, man. A lot of them pass out drunk. They may call it liquid courage, out. but that's not how it always yeah, is. I'll I'll sing when I'm drunk. <laughs> so 
I think that's just it. Um, still enjoying the season overall. Like, um, oh, I think next week, like they make it sound like it's the the big election, the big election. So we'll see what what happens. It it's so weird how like this, just this season, like so much random stuff happens. Like it's so hard to predict. But like it's the the the, the comedy is just on point. And like in like the, I don't know, just each episode, just, I just feel it's been really strong for me at least. Yeah, like each episode, uh, there was at least one good segment that I really enjoyed. So, so uh, that's it's nice. But so. uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we kind of know what's going to happen, right? I mean, definitely, Shogun is going to become president yeah. again, and then I don't. I feel like Chica's going to ask her to join him anyways, just because, and then they're going to have their own little group, I guess. I mean, going on the whole point, the whole thing is like, um, like, like you know, she was so adamant about like about making the president and and Kaguya join because she's like, I'm going to change you. Into make into like more upstanding, you know, citizen blah blah. blah. It's more like she's got to join them and she's got to like loosen up. That's how this goes. But I mean, I still I, I still can't for the comedy. I'm pretty sure like the right the author like has really good stuff like in for whenever she joins. Like like I'm I don't know. I I, I love this guy's like this guy's like writing like it's so funny. He just has yeah, like, I mean, the best ideas. Yeah, I mean, so far each character like to be introduced to the main cast. I think it's they've they've all been pretty spot on. But uh, I try again. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, so I can just enjoy it and not be let down. So we'll, we'll I mean, see. This is a, this one of the shows where you just take it as you go. So, like, nope. I'm I am I criticize everything. Oh my god. Okay. Everything must be perfect, sir. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. So, so that's it. Gonna be it for Kagasama, and then we're moving next to um, Sing Yesterday for me. And then uh, this episode, kind of similar to last week's episode where we had Haru, like, had, like, you know, someone that was, like, if we had another person for Haru, like, it was someone who was in love with Haru this time, we had Riku's ex. So, I mean, it's not like she was in love with him, but it's not like she, like, didn't hate him either. But actually, I don't know. I just really enjoyed this episode just because, like, I just realized, like, of all, like, the, the romance shows we get, it's so rare for like, people to have exes. Because it's always, like, it's always high school kids it's always like the first relationship they have, so like no one has any exes, so it's nice to have like that. Just, I don't know, it's so weird. Just like it's it's such a normal thing in like in people's relationship, but it's like such a rare thing to see in anime. So that's why I mean, I, I, it's like it just it was nice to see in this, this episode. I mean, I'm coming to appreciate this this anime series more and more with each episode. They're introducing like a main focus point with each episode like this is episode six right and they've introduced six different characters even though four of them is only the the main ones that yeah. that is going to stay with the series um but yeah for for a slice of life drama and romance like this has a really nice laid back mature theme and i think they're pulling off really well yeah. which which i can appreciate um, i think it's just because it's, it's just so rare in anime this is more like this feels so much more like a drama so yeah, it's really refreshing, you yeah. know, to kind of get something like this. I mean, I granted, we're probably only watching it because it's a, a slow season. Everything's being yeah. pushed back. I would so. never like watch this if, like, if I didn't have anything else to watch, which is sad because, like, I like I really enjoy this show. Even if it's airing this season, I still would probably like have this as my most underrated show. So. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I mean, I think I would still watch it if I were to pick it up, but I don't think I would even pick it I up. I probably won't even notice like well. notice it when it was airing, though. So that's like the sh- the sad part. So yeah, and I just want to mention too how like just like I really like how this how like just like how last week's episode was like this episode like they don't overstay their welcome. It's just like you had the nice introduction and then like you had their impact on the characters and then I mean and and by the time they leave like you just you feel like their impact on what happens with like the relationship. So that was also really nice. Yeah, like they they just flow in they just add in these characters and make it like like flow seamlessly like they've been there the whole time and you're right they're not overwhelming they're not overstaying they're welcome and i feel like they're actually adding some to the story like it's not just all about them they're adding some more background to the main characters so uh yeah it's pretty nice i, I was just so surprised that like rico actually had an ex because yeah because usually in these anime it's like no one has exes but, i mean even even though, I mean... Even, even though he's an adult like some a lot of times like and especially the way he acted around shinako like he see he's he was always acting awkward towards her, so it just seems like it just didn't seem like he'd be the type of guy who'd like to have past relationships, even though even though I guess they were only dating for like four months, but still like 
I mean, no, I, I, I could probably see him having an X before. I mean, it was just high school, but yeah, uh, I could see it happening. I mean, you can't you can't be a person that that gets depressed without having some kind of like depressing or some kind of horrid event happen to you in the past, right? So, oh, it was that horrible yeah. when they broke up? But like, hey, as as a high schooler, when you break up with your first whatever, like that shit hits you deep, right? It yeah. may not be big for you now, but the kids back then, that hit deep, right? It didn't really seem like like he really liked her either. I don't know. Well, I guess they didn't really go much into detail, but yeah, they didn't, didn't really go didn't, through it. Like, cause he, it seemed like he got over it pretty quick. But cause it seems like she was the type that just kept moving on, just cause like she was a she was the type of person who like who like doesn't know what they want in relationships, so they're always trying to like date other people. I mean, that's that's everybody. I feel like, but girls just have the better option for how to. I guess keep themselves occupied, I suppose. Because cause the only reason she dumped him was because some other guy proposed to her, and then I guess he got she got bored of uh, Rico and I then think decided she, just she said like she, she just wanted to be like, so she liked the attention. So right, yeah. So yeah, I mean, she doesn't know what she wants, but I mean, she's a girl; she can easily get around and have fun <laughs> with whoever. So I mean, it's whatever. Um, I was gonna say like it's nice to um, I mean, even though like the trope of, like, the misunderstanding happened in this episode, like, it was nice that, like, uh, I'm trying to remember her name. I think her name was, like, Yuzuhara. Yeah, Yuzuhara. She actually went out of her way to, like, um, when, when Shinako was there, she actually went out of the way to, to, uh, like, just to get over the misunderstanding with Shinako. Yeah, I mean, because, cause like I said, she's not a bad person. She just, you know, has needs, I guess. Like, she just wants to have fun and go do go do what she wants and figure out what she wants to do in her life um but the, yeah she was never classified as like a bad person more of a homewrecker no. i guess i don't know home homewrecker just like or, or like or like a like a problem child because like um like what was that guy fukuda the, the guy at the gas station or the, that, that part-time name. store yeah. yeah he was like yeah whenever she was in a band like they end up breaking up and it was due to her blah 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 I don't know, that's, every what band, that's what riku said yeah so, no, no, no. That was a Riku. That was the uh, the the blonde guy that that mentioned that to Riku. I'm pretty sure Riku said. Huh, I don't remember. Like, I swear he said that in high school. That's what she, that's what she was doing. But yeah, yeah, no. Like he confirmed it too. But then uh, the the blonde guy was one. Yeah, like uh, I heard from her from a couple of friends that she used to be in the bands with them, and then they broke up and blah blah blah. Okay. So she was so she was kind of like the like a problem child. She was always causing drama. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then also the funny part was too was when uh, Shinako and Haru came over, <laughs> and then she opened the door, and then like the face that they both had, I just oh, thought yeah. that was pretty priceless. Was, like was, I, yeah. like I can get that from Haru, but I didn't expect Shinako to uh, to have that expression as well. And then I kind of wish they would have showed the face that she had when Ruku was trying to like apologize to her, kind of clear up the misunderstanding. Oh yeah, but yeah, they, they just didn't show it. But apparently it was like devastating or like too scary for Riku to take so I think it's just cause um like cause Shinako like I think she's starting to realize that she does like love Riku but maybe hopefully this is like her getting over like you we'll see but like I still feel it still feels like it's gonna be like a like he's gonna end up with Haru at the end it doesn't feel like it's gonna be with Shinako I don't know uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I feel like that's Haru. Like Haru, when she found out, like she didn't take it very well. She's be- beat his ass with like the the drink carton. Like, bro, Haru fucked him up pretty, yeah. <laughs> pretty damn hard. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I feel like someone's gonna die, and then that's how the love triangle is gonna be fixed. Because obviously, uh, who's it? Uh, Rural. Bro. Bro. Yeah. yeah, like obviously he's not getting anything, and then I don't see Haru like hooking up with with Ro, and then you know like fucking Minato's gone, so that's not happening. <laughs> so it's either so it's either uh, like like Riku has has his choice here, either it's gonna be Shinako or Haru, but I feel like something's gotta happen. Death has already been introduced into uh, the series, so Death's not like a surprising factor. So like I said, I think someone's gonna die. I- I really um, hope it's not. I don't know. I I just I wanted them to keep the theme of like of just like I don't know. Just, I feel like like having someone die just make it like too easy, easy of a choice. 
because then like because then you feel like oh like i i don't have to like make the hard choice whereas like uh, i want rico to make like i want him to like he has to have like whoever he ends up with he has to like has consequences for his actions on like other like you know romance shows i guess where you don't really feel as much i don't know and then like you know how haru always has like a crow or a raven like always around yeah. her like, I wonder if that is supposed to imply something. Like, it's supposed to signify something. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. That's that's my theory. But, I mean, obviously, I hope Haru doesn't die or whoever doesn't die. Like, hopefully, it gets settled peacefully. But, I don't know. I feel like something's going to give. Like, this is a, a somewhat mature, uh, uh, like, drama, in a sense. Yeah. So, I feel like, like I said, I don't, I don't feel like death would be a thing that would be too far-fetched. And then I feel like as long as they tie it in um, tastefully, I think it's fine. Like not out of the blue, a white truck just comes out of nowhere and just kills someone, right? But you know, like I don't know. Like we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I just I want them if that happens. I just want Rico to have to like make that hard choice. Just just it's just um because yeah. I mean, it'd be, uh, it'd be more dramatic, but it's just like. I don't know. I don't want him to be given like, like the easy way out of like, like oh, like this is the person you settle for because like it's what you have left, like so. Right, like left over. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's not classified as a harem, so obviously he's gonna pick someone. I hopefully. Well, I don't want I don't want that person to die. Basically, like that just makes it. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Right, I don't know. Right. Like, and I'm. I mean, I still feel like it should be of Haru, but like I just. I don't know. I know she's a teenager and all, and she or or she's like from eight, 19, 18, 19 right now. It's just like I don't know, just just like how of how mature like the series has been. I just kind I kind of didn't like her acting out like that. I know she's young, but like just like with with relations to like with like Rico and, and Shinako, you know, because they're like twenty through two, twenty three. Just yeah, it felt very out of place with her reaction. So I know she's she's still like the favorite, but like. I don't know, that kind of like maybe like that was like a little a little negative in my opinion even though like even though I don't mind them getting together but it's just like yeah it just it made me like realize that okay maybe Shinako was not a bad choice just because I I want I, I like the maturity of both of them even though like even though Shinako still has the baggage so yeah and then, again we'll I think Shinako was always fine I I think you're just giving too much crap for what she was going yeah. through. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, each one has their own issues, right? Like she has baggage. Haru is a little immature. Uh, Riku like has no ambitions in life really, other than he wants to be a photographer, I guess. But I don't know he wants to be a photographer. It just feels like that's the only thing he has going for him. Like right. So like I said, everyone has issues. He doesn't know what he wants to do yeah. in his life. So they put him at his like standstill in his lifetime. Um, but I mean, well, what do you think about the pacing? Do you think they're gonna keep introducing new characters with each episode, or do you wanna like? Would you rather they just like, start from the main cast now? I feel like it's like it's a thing you could do once that's effective. I feel like the more times you do it, like it's like less effective. So I mean, but it's the second time they've done it, it wasn't too bad. Oh, you're talking about like just in general? I'm talking like because I don't know. Like the only other thing they do is just like is focus on Ro again. Cause like he's, I still think he's the weakest character of the four. So I don't think he's necessary. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess maybe like maybe do another one with Shinako. Like have like just develop her more. I guess for or actually even yeah. So I mean I don't know. Like we're we're halfway through the season already. Because I'm assuming there's only like what 12, 13 episodes. Yeah. Um, actually I heard it might be eighteen. I'm not sure about that, but oh okay. I, I'm yeah. not. Exactly, sure. So I'm gonna assume thirteen until otherwise. What a random ass number! Because I know, right? Because they couldn't do the full twenty. I heard they couldn't do the full twenty four. So maybe they settle for like COVID. extra. <laughs> so I don't know. I need I need to check on that. But if it, let's assume it is like twelve or thirteen. Like yeah, it's like halfway. So I kind of do want them to like start focusing on the main characters and like. Even though, like, I guess, yeah. I guess, the pacing right now is fine. It's just. Um, like, I mean, if there's only twelve or thirteen episodes, I would like for them to start taking it, taking it back from adding new characters and then just focus on the main characters because I think we have enough materials to kind of see how each of the main cast characters are 
are portrayed, right? Like who they are, what they're trying to overcome. And I think now would be the point where you start thinking about the future and solidifying that rather than constantly adding new elements to the story. Yeah. But if there's 18 or 24 episodes, I mean, I guess it's fine to throw in a couple more. Like the way the pacing is right now, like I think it, it's fine to end with like 12. So I hope, right. I hope it picks up a little because then it, yeah. it's got to start dragging on. Even though, like, the pace so far has been perfect. Like, I like the slower pacing. It fits the show. Yeah, so far, this is the only word I, where I'm not, like, dreading the next episode or, like, uh, feeling like it's it's just too slow. It's it's lost its touch or lost its hold on me. Um, yeah, so far, this has been really good. But, again, not going to get my hopes mm-hmm. up. We'll, we'll see what happens in the next couple episodes. But, yeah, it's compl- I feel like it's really underrated, and I hope it keeps up it's pacing because i really enjoy it so far i want to get i really want to get peter to watch it because i think he would enjoy it too so he's probably watching it right now and just yeah this is definitely peter's show he's been i don't even know what's going on but it sounds like it he's he's been like just binging taro god manga or manga so we'll see yeah um but yeah i mean that's all i have for this episode though so all right yeah. yeah so we're just gonna end it there so that's gonna be it for this week's this week's episode um yeah. So I just want to thank listeners for making this far. I want to thank, yes, the- thank you everybody who joined this week. Yes. Thank Hopefully, you. Uh, want, Nick. want to give a shout out to Nick and Johan for being Nick, Johan, Carlos Wolf. Um, yeah. Thanks for all you guys for being active in the chat. Viewers. I don't. Yeah, we have a few other viewers. I don't know who they are, They're but bots. So. Okay. Well, thank you guys for all people, sir. All right. Yeah. Don't be like that. Yeah. So yes, thank you guys for joining this week. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it was an entertaining one. <laughs> Um, Next week's episode, Threaten shows his third nipple. Oh, oh boy. Don't miss it. We're going to need uh, 200 donations for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to I thank the panel hey, for, for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. No of course. Yep. Hey, Keep just writing really? those checks, okay? Yes, yes. David. The checks. Yes. And, um, that's going to wrap it up. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. Unzip and jump in. I don't see the horn here. I'm sorry, Sredden. It's at the hairline. It's a hairline. Sorry, I, I was muted and I had to switch back to the screen. Oh, okay, I was like, um, I just uh, that looks more like one of those hair clips uh, or pins. Hair clips, yeah. Guy said it's a GD horn. No, like I can see what uh, Sredden's talking dude, about. Dude, that is a horn. It pops out. Are you telling me like the hair just has like? Oh wait, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that because the man who wears glasses turned into pure. So. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I don't know. It's. I'm going to still say it's a horn. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is your logic? <laughs> I'm going to just hold hold true that it's a horn. Dude, and, uh, oh my God. and uh, we'll just never come back to this again. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton.